Hello all and welcome to this brief tutorial about when to use each of the modes of interferometry, PSI, EPSI, that has a new algorithm in this new 7.7 .7 version of SensusCan, and CSI. So let's get started. So this video will consist on different samples, different examples in which we can apply the different modes of interferometry. We're going to start with an extremely smooth surface, which is part of a wafer, and actually is the part of the wafer that doesn't have any structures on, okay? So what we need to actually use for this kind of sample is the technology, the mode of interferometry that it's going to have the best vertical resolution, okay? Which is gonna be phase shifting interferometry that has a vertical resolution down to 0.01 nanometers, okay? So by default, okay, interferometry is gonna perform with CSI. So we need to go here and change the mode, okay? So one particularity of uh, phase shifting interferometry is that actually it's not going to have a Z range to set, okay? Actually, we're always going to have nine planes, okay? And these nine planes are going to be a total range of 600 or 700 nanometers, depending on the wavelength. So actually, we can see that this surface is a little bit inclinated. So we're going to uh, take out this inclination to make sure that the range of phase shifting interferometry is going to work out. So let's do an auto tip tilt. And now we can go ahead and add choir. So you can see on the bottom of the screen the nine steps that phase shifting interferometry takes into consideration. So this is our surface, so now we need to remove the shape and we're going to apply the filters on the ISO 25178. We're going to take out a polynomial degree of two, an S filter of 2.5 microns and an L filter of 250 microns. And the result is gonna be a surface without any shape. And if we have a look on the height parameters, we can see SA, which is the arithmetical mean, okay, of heights. And we see that the roughness is gonna be below one nanometer, actually it's 0 0.6 nanometers, okay? All right, so that's one thing. And actually, it's important to understand that phase shifting interferometry can measure continuous surfaces that have a maximum height of 20 microns. But when it comes to a surface that it's a step height, it's different. Actually, in here, we need to have a maximum distance of a fourth of the wavelength that we are using for space shifting interferometry. Otherwise, if we are measuring a step height that is higher, okay, maybe 190 nanometers, the phase is not so easy to correlate and we may have a wrong result. So the limitation on surfaces that are not continuous is the uh, approximately 140, 30 uh, nanometers. So actually, let's see an example on phase shifting, measuring a step height on those dimensions. Okay, so we're going to measure this funny sample, okay? And actually, if the step height between the bottom and the top, it's not higher than more or less 140 nanometers, then it's going to measure it properly. So actually, we are in focus and we can click Acquire. Okay, it looks really nice. Let's remove the inclination. Okay. And let's check out that step height that we can find on those funny features and it's more or less 140 nanometers. So this would be kind of the limit that phase shifting interferometry would be able to measure in terms of steps. All right, so let's move on and go to EPSI. So we're going to select this mode of interferometry and EPSI has to be understood as a technology that it's a CSI optimized for smooth surfaces. So actually in here in the screen, we can see a sample that has a very smooth surface on the left and a not so smooth surface, which is a step height on the right. So let's go and acquire with this EPSI technology. Okay. And actually the result is amazing. 
So when you say to me, uh, okay, EPSI is an optimized CSI for smooth surfaces, when it pops, it's actually a wafer. So actually a wafer has structures, okay, that we need to normally measure the dimensions on, and those structures are built in a really smooth surface, okay? So actually, right now, we are going to measure a structure on a wafer, and we're going to use EPSI. So actually, the advantages of using EPSI uh, instead of CSI is, first of all, that we're going to have a better vertical resolution, which is going to be 0.1 nanometer. And the second thing is that actually the repetibility of measuring these kind of samples with a step height, for example, is going to be improved by using EPSI, okay? So let's actually set the range. Sounds good, and acquire. So this EPSI, it's a technology that actually has been improved in this new release of SensorScan 7.7. .7. So we encourage you to actually use it. And here you can see the result of this topography that it's flawless, okay? Looks really, really good. And finally, of course, we have CSI. So CSI is gonna be the most versatile mode into, in interferometry, and it's gonna be used in the other cases that PSI and EPSI are not used, okay? Such as, for example, to measure samples that are rougher. So let's change the mode, okay? And click Acquire. And we'll have a beautiful image of our rough sample okay so this is pretty much it this is some examples on uh, when to use each of the modes if you have any questions let us know put some comments and see you in the following videos bye that's sensor lighting up your quality